Welcome to Master of the Game Sports. This is the biggest week in college football as a Michigan fan. This is National Hate Week. This is Michigan versus Ohio State for a chance at the Big Ten Championship. As a Michigan fan, we have had a lot of heartbreak over the years. I still hold on to the fact that JT Barrett was one yard shy of the first down five years ago. Yeah, we should have won that game. In my mind, that was a Michigan win, and we just got robbed by the refs. All, all of that aside, this is our chance to move forward, to get over the hump, and finally reclaim our spot as the Big Ten champs. But we have to beat Ohio State this week. I still have faith in Jim Harbaugh. I believe that the coaching changes we have made over the last couple years with Gaddis, Hart, uh, I think have been steps in the right direction. I think the changeover with the defensive coordinator from Don Brown, I loved Don Brown, but I don't think his scheme and the way he uh, ran a defense worked against Ohio State. It required you to have superior talent, and when you matched up with equal talent, you couldn't hang. And honestly, Ohio State has had better talent in some areas uh, over the last few years, especially on their offense. Their wide receivers this year are probably the best wide receivers we've seen in a long time. Three stud wide receivers, a great young quarterback. Uh, I expect it to be a shootout this week. So when people are like, oh, Michigan has a chance, and you know, I'm seeing the media say this, like Joel Klatt and uh, other people out there saying Michigan has a chance for the first time in a long time we match up really well. And that actually scares me a little bit. In previous years, we've talked about Michigan having the top defense or one of the top defenses going into the game. Oh, Michigan's defense can can hold Ohio State's offense. I, I'm kind of in a believe it when I see it mode. Love those guys. Love my team. Love uh, David uh, Ojabo. I love, love, love Aiden Hutchinson. Um, I, I, I love this team. I, I think for us to win the game, we're going to have to pound the ball. We're going to have to have a solid run game all throughout, keep Ohio State's offense off the field. When Ohio State's offense is on the field, they're going to try to do no huddle. They're going to throw it on first and second down. They're going to do things that you wouldn't necessarily expect to see in a Michigan-Ohio State game. I don't think they're going to line up and try to ram the ball down our throat. That's where I think we do have the advantage. I think our defensive line has that advantage over their offensive line. I believe our offensive line has that advantage over their defensive line. I think it's going to come down to can we stop the pass? Can they stop our run? Do I think we're going to be able to throw the ball on them? I don't think so. It's possible. We've seen some, some progress with our passing game over the last few weeks. But do I think we're going to be able to line up and throw the ball on Ohio State? I, I don't. I think Ohio State has some really good athletes. I think we have the talent. We're young, especially in our passing game. And so we could do some some things there. I really like Edwards. I like Anthony, McNamara. I, I like all of our guys over there. I think Ohio State's going to be able to throw it on us. I think we're going to be able to run on them. I think for Michigan to win, and I, I put Michigan at a 30% chance to win this game, even at home. I think there's a few things that have to happen. I think we are going to have to match them point for point because I do think Ohio State can score on us. They are the best offense in the Big Ten, arguably the best passing offense in all of college football. When it comes to Michigan, you know, again, we have two-headed backfield, which is great, works in our favor. I really like our, our uh, tight end, Eric, Eric All. I think if we can throw the ball over the middle, get them running, get them out in space, uh, Edwards and Anthony, I think, can outrun their guys. I don't think we're going to be able to line up and just chuck the ball downfield. I, I'll be surprised if I see that. It could happen. You know, I've seen stranger things. But I don't think we're just going to sit there and do that. I think it's going to be chip away at their, their defense, uh, tire them out. That's why, again, I think crossing patterns are going to be good, get them chasing you. I, I do expect them to line up too deep. Heck, they might even go back to how they played earlier this year with one deep in order to just stack the box. It's very possible they might do that. But I do expect them to do a lot of zone. Um, and so if our guys can find the, the soft spots in their coverage and, and sit down and, and in those spots and make catches, we could do it. We could chip away at them all day long. And I think we have to. I think we need to have the time of possession. Again, keep their offense off the field. If they get into a rhythm, especially early on, if they get an early lead, 
I think that that spells trouble for us because they're not going to let up off off the gas pedal. Hopefully we jump out to an early lead because that plays into our strengths. That plays into the fact that they do have to pass. Uh, that plays into the fact that we can run the ball, you know. So an early lead for us could could actually be exactly what we need. Normally I say, hey, wait and see. Let's see what happens as the game goes on. Depending on how Ohio State comes out and plays defense, you might have to adjust. If they are trying to protect the middle of the field and stop the run, because that's our strength. We can throw over the middle. That's what we've seen over the last few weeks. And we can run the ball, right? If they do cram the box and take away our strength on offense, are we going to be able to beat them on the outside? I would love to see us do some, some halfback passes or a jet sweep pass. You know, that would be awesome. Maybe a flea flicker, you know, some, some reverses. I, I actually would like to see that. Get some, some misdirection going, maybe some screen plays. Um, you know, I, I, I would like to see that. Uh, I think that could break the game open. Now, again, that's if what we're doing isn't working. You know, if what we're doing, if we go out there and we do what we normally do, and that's run the ball and throw it over the middle, if that's working, you don't have to do all that crazy stuff. You know, I'd still like to see at least one of those plays. Last week, the special teams play where we threw it across field and, and ran it for a touchdown. I loved that. I, I think this is the game that we've all been waiting for. It's going to be cold. It's in, you know, that could play into our, our, our hands a little bit with an advantage there because it's hard to pass, you know, when, when it's, you know, snowing, sleet, cold. I do expect it to be a cold fall day, and that could also benefit us. So that's my thoughts on the Michigan-Ohio State game this year. Um, would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Do you have any score predictions? Would love to hear that as well. Uh, I'm going to choose Michigan to win this game because we are at home, and honestly, I always choose them to win. They have to win. I want them to win. So I'm going to put the score, I think it's going to be a shootout. I think we're going to see something very similar to 2006 where they moved the ball down the field. Both teams did. Uh, I think we're going to see a high-scoring game somewhere in the the winning teams, probably going to be in the high 30s, um, maybe even low 40s. So we'll say Michigan 39, uh, Ohio State 36, with Michigan going to the Big Ten Championship game and the college football playoff. But we'll analyze that next week. This was Master of the Game Sports. Game on.